everyone in this video i am going to discuss the recursion where you are getting always confused right because your concepts are not getting clear how the recursion is actually going on what is recursion and as you know okay, recursion is working on stack but how it will work i am giving you clear explanation complete explanation from this question you can see this question here this is a long recursion going on in this long recursion what will be the output this is the question so please pause the video till the end and definitely subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get this type of more videos where you will get complete easy explanation and after watching the video definitely let me know in the comment section how you are feeling so let's come here what is recursion recursion is a process of repeating item in selves similar way how it is repeating item that is a problem here how it will repeat the item so that's why take this one first of all whenever we are doing see that here this is falling with 5 f will fall with 5 okay so i will call this with 5 first time then every time here it is doing return f n minus 3 plus n plus f n minus 2 plus n now see that first time when we are calling this will be little bit lengthy please keep your patience and please concentrate here please watch it completely after watching it is my guarantee your all concept will be clear but you have to watch completely see that whenever i am calling so this function every time it will evaluate n minus 3 plus n plus f n minus 2 plus n this function is executing every time when when n is greater than when n is greater than 0 otherwise otherwise if n is less or equals to 0 means if n is coming either 0 or any negative number then it is returning hyphen right yes now how it will work so for that it is better to take a new page let me take some new pages so that i can discuss it clearly okay just i am going to take some new pages and let me discuss it clearly so here this function was working like this one first of all i am calling f5 and my function was like if n minus 3 plus n plus if n minus 2 plus n every time this is evaluating so when i am calling f5 how it will be f n n means what is this is n means here i have to take means this will be this will be not n this will be here 5 5 minus 3 i am taking after that plus n is 5 plus f 5 minus 2 plus 5 normally we are putting the value of n here nothing else then it will try to evaluate this part that is a5 minus 3 means what f2 now when it is calling f2 means there is a recursion now what it will do with this part this part will be remaining means it will be put in a stack because here this is a return function right we are calling it recursively f2 will be called but this part is remaining so this part it is putting in the stack that is the main concept of recursion whenever you are calling any uh, recursively any function then the remaining part we have to put into the stack so that when i will get the return then this stack will be evaluated so let's see how it is going i will call with f2 i will evaluate f2 how to evaluate from this one that will be f put the value of n that is 2 minus 3 plus again 2 plus f 2 minus 2 plus 2 just put the value of n here 
that is going on because 2 is here when this function is calling when n is greater than 0 if n is less or equals to 0 then return hyphen it was returning hyphen that was the question right now what will be done here again again it will be try to evaluate f minus 1 and this part is remaining in the stack again this is not done because this is not evaluated what will be the value of minus 1 f minus 1 will be return hyphen because of this condition here this condition will be satisfied here f less or equals to 0 yes because n value is now minus 1 for minus 1 this is satisfying so that's why returning hyphen right so here it will return a hyphen where it will return here it will return because it was calling from here means i am returning hyphen after that this 2 will be here this is the 2 and don't be confused with this plus all this plus will be work like a concatenation it is working like a concatenation of string it is a string concatenation okay so here it is returning hyphen after that this 2 now again i have to evaluate this part when i am evaluating this part that is f 2 minus 2 means f 0 so when this is f 0 again as it is less or equals to 0 it will return you again hyphen right means where it is returning it will return here again hyphen and the remaining part was 2 that's why here is again 2 right I hope this is clear to everyone now so what this is returning here i am getting here finally uh, hyphen 2 and hyphen 2 this is coming right so this is the return from where it is returning this minus 2 and minus 2 it was calling from here means here hyphen 2 hyphen 2 this is not minus this is hyphen 2 hyphen now where it will return it will return if this was falling from here right so that was hyphen 2 hyphen 2 and this 5 will come here that is 5 now it will try to evaluate this part now try to evaluate this part when we are trying to evaluate this part that was f 5 minus 2 means this is f 3 now again as it is f3 i will put here the value of n f3 minus 3 then plus 3 plus f3 minus 2 plus 3 just put the value of here because this is always when this is n greater than 0 always you will call this recursion right now see f3 minus 3 means what that will be f0 plus 3 plus this will be 3 how this is calling 3. so here this one again f0 f0 is returning hyphen that was okay hyphen then 3 that is here but for f1 if we are trying to expand here the f1 what is coming in f1 f1 will be extended like this way again that is here we are expanding f1 okay here f1 minus 3 plus again 1 plus f1 minus 2 plus again 1 got it because you are putting this 1 with this n value every time because definitely 1 is greater than 0 that's why so here it will be f1 minus 3 means this is minus 2 plus 1 plus f1 minus 2 means that is minus 1 plus 1 right now as this is minus value this will return hyphen means here i will get hyphen and for this one that is one again here this is i will get here also hyphen means again hyphen and this one that is one got it 
as this is a negative number i will get return hyphen again this one will come here then again this is a negative number that's why i will get hyphen and again this one will come here so that's why here i will get hyphen 1 hyphen 1 from where i am getting i was calling from here means with this hyphen 3 was there now with this hyphen 3 means i am writing here with this hyphen 3 it will be like hyphen 3 was already there then hyphen 1 hyphen 1 and this 3 was remaining that 3 so this is coming here finally that is finally it is coming hyphen 3 hyphen 1 hyphen 1 3 this hyphen 3 was all already from here that 3 and this hyphen 1 hyphen 1 is coming from here and this 3 was remaining that 3 is coming from here this is clear now from where this will return it was calling from here it was calling here and finally it was calling from here right it was calling from here that's why it is now what this will be just see that as here this was 2 5 it was already there right now what we are getting here i am getting minus 3 from here i mean hyphen 3 then hyphen 1 then hyphen 1 3 and finally this 5 is remaining that is this 5 so finally your answer is coming like this. that is your final answer that is hyphen 2 hyphen 2 5 hyphen 3 hyphen 1 hyphen 1 3 5 got it hyphen 2 see that now try to check with the option where it was hyphen 2 it was here check it hyphen 2 yes there was hyphen 2 then hyphen 2 5 hyphen 2 5 then hyphen 3 hyphen 3 then hyphen 1 hyphen 1 then hyphen 1 3 5 then this is hyphen 1 3 5 i hope this is clear to everyone now that is called recursion that's why your answer will be this you are getting this answer so again do little bit revision what is going on here first of all you are calling with a5 whenever you are calling with a5 then you did it this is expanding like 5 you are putting here 5 all the value n equals to 5 here it was right and when you took this one after that when you take this one n equals to 5 then we get the f2 we call f2 then we put here n equals to 2 all the value from n equals to 2 then we are expanding this one with 2 after expanding when you are getting f minus 1 as it was minus that's why it was returning hyphen what this return first of all after getting this return it was coming here that is this minus hyphen then this 2 was remaining it was coming this 2 and again this one was expanding here that was f0 f0 was expanded like this one because again this will return hyphen this hyphen was returning and finally this hyphen was returning here and this 2 was coming from here so finally you got here hyphen 2 here and this hyphen 2 here means that was your return here hyphen 2 hyphen this return was coming from here because it was calling so i got here hyphen to hyphen to. then this part was remaining this part was remaining that was a return here that f5 here it was return so hyphen to hyphen to then this 5 was remaining that 5 is concatenated here then we have started expanding this part that is a5 minus 2 here we have started expanding a5 minus 2. 
then this is f3 when we are expanding f3 then again we are putting here n equals to 3 and finally here f3 and all these are there again this will be the stack and this is expanded f0 when we are expanding f0 there was this hyphen this hyphen was coming now this hyphen was returning here that is this hyphen and this three was coming here that is this three now we are expanding this one this part when we are expanding this part that is f1 we are expanding this f1 here that is this f1 was expanding here where n equals to 1 we put the value of n equals to 1 here we are getting minus that's why the hyphen because it was minus hyphen hyphen 1 then again this is minus that's why again we are getting here hyphen so hyphen then this one is here and hyphen then this one is here that's why here we got hyphen 1 hyphen 1 that was coming from here it was coming from here that's why this hyphen 3 that is this hyphen 3 then this hyphen 1 hyphen 1 that is this hyphen 1 hyphen 1 and this 3 was pending that is this 3 so here we got the return hyphen 3 hyphen 1 hyphen 1 3 so i am returning this here i am returning this here this was calling from ultimately here it was calling from ultimately here means i put here this hyphen 3 hyphen 1 hyphen 1 3 and this 5 was remaining this 5 is coming from here. Finally, you got the answer hyphen 2, hyphen 2, 5, hyphen 3, hyphen 1, hyphen 1, 3, 5. This is the working mechanism of the recursion. Hope this is very clear to everyone. Please let me know in the comment section how you are feeling. Actually, recursion is going on in this way. This will be operating and this will be in the stack. Again, when you are getting return of this, then this will be again operate. As this is again recursion, this will again operate, then again it will calculate. So, thank you for watching. Those who are watching till now, please let me know in the comment section if it is clear or not. And like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon in the next video.